SNES Drunk. And welcome back once again to SNES Drunk Plays Secret of Mana. And let's stop wasting time. All right, fine. Let's waste a little more time. Let's take the long way to wherever we're going next. Um, <laughs> what was I rambling about the last episode? I don't even remember. I paused it and, and then made a sandwich, and now I'm back. Hey, here's a neat little thing. You don't have to go around that little area over there. You can just jump up right here. I like the little jump sound it makes. Of course, one added bonus of going back this way is uh, being able to squash these guys in almost one hit. Come on, you guys. you got to do better than that. There we go. Um, it's immensely satisfying to be able to do that like that because uh, you know it's always fun to do that because you know you have a hard time with them at the beginning of the game and then suddenly it's it's very easy oh that's right we gotta go to talk to Luca what's her name I I'm literally just running on autopilot here I'm so tired um, and I've been drinking a bit obviously so I'm just this is the sequence of the game that I've played a million times. <laughs> it's like, where do I go? Oh, yeah. It's like, what'd you do it? Have it stolen. God damn it. We got to go all the way back to stupid guy's navel. Fine. You know what? Just for that, I'm not going to shut off the stairs. I'm leaving the stairs wide open. So stranger, I'll shut these off. I'll be a little polite. I just like the sound it makes. Wasting electricity using this. Have I said that enough yet? I think I've said that joke about 17 times. All right, so if, if what I think is coming next is correct, um, and, I, and I believe I am correct in thinking that the comic relief of this game is just around the corner. It's odd. This Secret of Mana is a little odd because it's like this game, when you think of Secret of Mana, you, the first thing you think of is, the, or at least I think of, is the music and uh, the, uh, the colors, the, the art style, um, how Nico is freaking overpriced for everything. And, uh, oh yeah, we definitely need, I'll get a couple fairy walnuts, at least one. My dog is barking at something. Here he comes. <laughs> Come on, boy. We're here. There he is. I don't know if you can hear him. His claws tapping on the <laughs> on the floor. So we gotta go all the way back to guy's navel. Come here, Clay. Come on over. Oh, what's going on? Good dog. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, the comic relief of this game is next. And that's, uh, yeah, like I was saying, the um, I don't think of this game on the, along the same lines as I do, even like Illusion of Gaia. Or, uh, what, that game has a lot of dialogue and a lot of uh, story. Let's just take the cannon trial this time. I'll spare you guys. But it, when I think of Secret of Mana, I do not, the, the story is like the fourth or fifth thing that comes to mind. Because there, there really isn't a whole lot of dialogue here, and I'm, I'm happy for it. That means that much more, uh, you know, action and gameplay and that sort of stuff. Now here we get a little taste of how big this world in this game really is. I really like how they did this game, uh, did this where they, they kind of very slyly reveal how big this game really is. It's like, okay, you start with the Cannon Travel Center. And then you eventually get a helper that allows you to see even more of the world, which is an aw absolutely awesome, and I mean that. It, like, the word awesome is overused and not used properly, and I'm guilty of that myself. But it is an awesome sight when you finally get your helper friend to carry you around the world. It is freaking great. Do I have any orbs? Oh, I've got the bow. That's right. From the last boss. And I believe that's it. So. Ha ha ha. Oh, I can just go this way. Wait a minute. Everybody's here. Hey, it's Gemma. You're probably going to want to leave again. 
I did not mean to do that. I can I go back up? No, the the stairs don't go back up. <laughs> Durr. It's goofy. Okay. Nothing up there. Let's progress our way. Hey, some treasure. An orb for a weapon that we use. That's excellent. Hey, what's with you guys? What are you even going to do with the water seed? You don't know what you're doing. The scorpion army. Maybe you guys really like the scorpions? <laughs> Kilroy? Take me to the magic of the moment on a glory night. With the children of the Oh, we got a boss fight. Scorpion Club. Well, I guess that's better than the KISS army. Seriously, there there might not be another band I, I loathe more than KISS. I just when I I like, get to the point where I when I hear their music, I'm like, ah, and I have to get away. I just hate them. Alright, let's use some magic on this guy. Uh what magic I use, I honestly don't know. Oh shit, I don't have any... Uh -oh. Let's uh, give him a fairy wand. Shit, I should have stayed. I didn't even realize I didn't uh, stay at the thing. Alright, now let's do some birth slides. 78? Come on, we can do better than that. Let's see if Freeze does anything. Exact same. Okay. Moogled out the ass here. Jesus. Yeah, this boss is a little. It's not easy. And it does have a lot of hit points. And magic doesn't really work all that great on it, as you can see. Looks like the, the top of the head looks like the little Jawa looking thing from. Uh, was it He Man? Or Masters of the Universe, I guess? I almost said Thundercat. Boy, that would have infuriated some of you. Uh, we're doing good on health. Five, come on. Seventeen, come on. You guys suck. Five. Yeah, this is a time-consuming battle, as you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna have that stupid scorpion song in my head for a while. They actually did a version of that song with uh, the guy from the band AHA. Um, I've got a bunch of fairy walnuts, I didn't even realize that. Yeah, the guy from AHA, you know, the band that did Take On Me from, the, from like 1985. He does he d a duet with uh, the Scorpion singer guy. And um, it's really good. Like, it's, you know, it's it sounds gimmicky on the surface. Like, oh boy, it's the aha guy and the scorpion guy but they sound great together um, scorpions guy is one of those singers i don't know his name it's a klaus klaus something he's one of those guys where like absolutely nobody sounds like him and you know like you can say oh shit girl's dead well let's save clyde in the meantime um i should probably pay attention to the fights that are people. But, um, one of the, uh, why did, why don't I go back to magic? Why did I stop using magic? I'm an idiot. Ugh. 44? But yeah, no, it, most of the time when you hear a singer and it, you, you, the way you describe his voice is like, like Billy Corgan, for example, from Smashing Pumpkins. Like, the, the, the fanboy excuse for his shitty singing is always, Oh, nobody sounds like him. And it's like, well, yeah, nobody sounds like him for a reason. It's because people that sound that bad don't sing. So, Scorpion's guy, though, I mean, nobody sounds like that guy. You hear, like, oh, finally, got this thing. You hear less than a second of Scorpion's guy's voice, and you immediately know it's him. That's very, that's very rare. Especially in the age, I think it was in the 90s when it, it I'm biased obviously because I grew up in the 90s, but everybody started singing like Eddie Vedder or Lane Staley or James Hetfield and everybody just kind of blended together. 
If it wasn't, yeah, it was, yeah, ooh, yeah, it's like, come on. Anyway, we beat this boss, the comic relief section is over, and you know, there wasn't much comic relief. It's, those three are just supposed to be like kind of dunderheaded guys that, uh, no, don't go, shit, how do I get out of here? I did not mean to do that. Is there a way out? I don't think there is. Uh-oh. Am I stuck? I've never done this before. I suppose I can use the whip, right? Or not the whip, the rope. All right, I'm out. <laughs> oh, it brought me all the way back here. Cool. Is there any... I must have missed some dialogue or something as a result of that. Damn it, I hate that. Ugh. Oh, and I got the whip's orb, so I can get this taken care of. Right on. Mm. All right, so we're going to call this an episode for now. Maybe I'll talk about some other 80s bands like Slaughter or Warrant next time. And thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.